Uh, the way we resourced the show was uh, Paul, who's the other producer, he's more of the technical guy, um, he was part of a filmmaking group and they've done a, a few films and Paul himself uh, produced and directed a short film called Hands in the Air uh, and then from that, because I knew he'd, he'd done that, that's where I got him to uh, produce and direct the film clip for my band, Willful Damage. So that group of people that Paul knows, these technical people, they had the equipment and uh, the uh, remote mic that we used um, in both the internal and external scenes. You know, externally the mic would be hidden on a uh, table at a restaurant or a cafe under a menu or something like that. So we're trying to, to obviously keep that out of camera and, and put that in the best possible spot. So uh, these people thankfully had that equipment. Um, Paul had a, a DLSR, I've probably got the words wrong there, camera that he, he used for a lot of external uh, scenes where we had to be discreet and, and that gave some pretty good results. So um, it was all basically equipment that people had, which was lucky because I don't know what else we would have done. It been expensive to hire, I'd imagine. Uh, StarNow.com has been our avenue. Um, there was a couple of other people that we knew who were actors, uh, that were friends, um, but as far as anybody who we didn't already personally know, uh, StarNow.com is the way we've gone about it. So we would place uh, the project on there uh, anytime we needed it. Like initially there was the roles of, of Lucy and Susie, but then other times down the track when we've needed people to be uh, reps in the sales meeting or or some of the other, like a receptionist or something like that, we would place uh, an ad or whatever you'd call it on there and people apply for it and you go through and see who's suitable and contact them and then hold auditions that way. And that was, that's been, it's been a great way to go about it.